So dear student, today I am explaining how to construct the problems and square prism. So here we need to analyze, we need to know how to analyze the square prism problem. So whether it's a locus or it's a without locus. Okay. So is a one word is very important here. The drop, you know, see the square prism 35 mm sides of base, 60 mm axis length, rest on HP on one of its corner of base such that the two base edge containing the corner on which it rests makes an equal inclination with HP. So you need to consider first position in a corner and second draw the projection of the prism when the axis of the prism is inclined to HP at 40 degree and appears to be VP at 40 degree. See if the word appear is present in the problem, if the word appear is present in the problem, so it is a without locus. If the word appear is a present in the problem, so it is a without locus. So you can write here, so this is without locus problem okay so next we shall go to construct the first position so first position is the given 35 mm square prism base side and 60 mm axis length so 35 mm base side you see select see rectangle so in this rectangle it will be asking you know first select the width in a visible line next it will be asking width height and angle so width will be 35 height will be 35 then it is you require a corner position so required a corner position means you need to take 45 degree so you can place wherever you want so i'll place here okay so next do the naming i'll start from here so it is a in the bracket a1 next this one is b in the bracket b1 Next, this one is C in the bracket, C1. Next year, D in the bracket, I'll take D1. So next, you know, use projection line to join the diagonal lines. See, these are not visible, but you required here. Okay, so this is a O in the bracket, O1. Okay, so this is a top view of an object so it's a square prism top view top view so now we should let us consider uh, in a front view of an object from the point z draw a you know projection line select a projection line up to x y line next from the point d draw up to x y line next from the point a draw up to x y line so next go with again rectangle okay so use visible line so next from the point before that you go to naming so this is a baseline so take c1 dash next this will be a uh, b1 is visible in the bracket d1 is t1 dash is not visible and similarly you take o1 dash okay so next this point is a1 dash okay so next okay so next go to rectangle select from the point c12 with a visible line c12 and point a1 so drag it so this will be width is over so next you need to give a height height is how much it's around 60 mm so it is 60 mm okay so it is 60 mm leave so this complete first is you know so we'll do it again so first take a visible line Select the C1 point, C1 endpoint. Next, A1 endpoint. Okay, A1 endpoint means here width is over. Press one tap. Next, it will be asking height. Height is how much? It's a 60 mm height. 60 enter. Over. So next, go to line. See if you're looking from front of an object, the B, A, B, D is overlapping with a O. So it this center line is also a visible line. So next do the naming so this point is c dash point and this point is b dash so in the bracket d dash next in the bracket o dash okay and this point is a dash so now go to smart dimension show the dimension one this is 2 
okay so front and top view is completed so since it is a you know hp is placed so axis of the prism is inclined to hp at 40 degree so select complete select this image okay select this image and this is inclined to hp at see 40 degree so select this image and select the a8 point to place it on the xy line okay so next go to rotate see here i am for rotating i'll select point a12 point c1 b here i'll consider base i'll rotate so that axis will be rotated so base is i'll take 40 is given 40 is given so i'll take 90 minus 40 you will get 50 rotation angle will be 50 okay so next give now you can go and you know find out the angle you will get 40 degree will be the 40 degree will be the base angle see what you are getting you are getting 40 degree will be the base angle so next so this is a second position so now we will draw front view, top view of the second position so use projection line see well it start from point a1 so a1 where is a1 see use an alignment indicator see draw up to a1 don't draw unnecessary extra line so it's a waste of time next immediately do the naming so this is a a1 so next again go to projection line see from the point b1 and d1 from the point point d1 and d1 so here d1 is here draw up to point d1 so next immediately do the naming so this one is d1 next again take a line from the points in the same line you'll get two points so you'll get it join see so this is a b1 okay so a1 b1 d1 is over so next is c1 so c1 so where is c1 is here only okay if you are not getting straight line you just one give one tap give 90 minus 90 degree okay it will be take to where you want so do the naming so this one is c1 next go to line so from the again axis line so this will be the meeting point so this point is o1 okay so this you know top bottom face is completed next we'll go for top face so top face again the point a okay do the naming you get a next take a line from the point c see point c is up to here and do the naming this is c next go to line next this is a point b so where you will get the b okay first you will get d so next you will get next you'll get b okay so this is a point b and this one is a point o see here the students will make a mistake how to you know how to analyze the visible and invisible line see visible and invisible line is very simple see here so three points See whatever the your ellipse you have presented. So this is a if looking from front of an object, the point top when a bottom top face is completely visible. So join top face by using visible and take it line. So top face is joined by A, B, C, and D. So go with A, B, C, and D to A. Over. So next C to C is a out you know visible line. So again C to C is a visible line. So next. So other than I will tell you one more method. See first join all outer edges by using visible line. Outer edges means A to B, next B to B1, next B1 to C1, next C1 
to D1 next, D to D next, D to A. Okay, all outer edges are joined by using visible line. So next, so top face is visible. Now join so top face, all top face point by using visible line. Over. So next, in one more left is C to C. So C to C is obviously it is a visible line. Visible line. Okay, so next point is point A1. So A1 will be there on XY line. So if you're looking from front of an object, the point A1 is invisible. So take hidden line. See, line joining between invisible point to visible point it produces a again invisible line. So point A2 D is invisible line. Next point A1 to B1 is invisible line next from a1 to a is invisible but the c1 to c is a visible line it will overlapping with a visible line so that's why i'll measure i'll draw line visible line with a only a to c to a okay so this completes the you know front view and top view of the second position square prism so now it is a with locus or without locus so the world appear is present in the problem so it is a without locus so no need to find out the true length and parent length but here the axis of the prism is inclined to be at 40 degree so here take a line take a projection line so draw one parallel line which is parallel to the xy line so then take inclination angle so this will be around okay so it's around 40 degree okay so this will be 40 you can change this exactly 40 it's a 40 okay so next is select apparent length of lamina complete lamina okay go to move okay with copying select the point select the point o okay or select the point o next you place it on select the point O here zoom it if you are not getting end point properly zoom it delete and you trim what one side ok now use visible line to line joining between the so sorry 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 invisible line means hidden line ok so now you go to you know, fit, fit command now just zoom it and select the apparent view select the apparent view go to no option with copying now select the midpoint o then you place it then go to rotate without copying from this point to the another midpoint rotate okay rotate like this so then go to projection line go to projection line from the point a1 see where is a is here draw up to a1 next do the naming this point is a dash next projection line from the point B so where is point B here so if you are getting zigzag okay so need to be be careful take line the projection line over so do that this will be a this is a d dash next select the line so select select projection line select projection line next do the naming so this will be b dash dash next take a line see from the point C 
from the point C. So complete and this will be a C dash. So next from the point O. So where is O is on X Y line. So this is a dash point. So next take a line from the point A1. A1 is on X Y line. So this is A1, A1 dash next from the point D1 so D1 is if you are not getting proper line take you know projection line from this side so we trim this point then do the naming this will be B1 dash and this is D1 dash next take a line from the point C so take extra line if you want you can you know delete it so next trim this end so go to naming this will be a c1 dash next one more line is missing so that is a point o is here do the naming this will be a o1 dash so now we can you need to join the line so similar way join all outer edges by using visible line so outer edges means first we'll take from a to um, a to D, next C, C to C dash, C to D dash, next it is A and then A1. Okay, so it's completed. Next, if you're looking from bottom of an object, the bottom face is completely visible. So join all the bottom face line by using visible line. Okay, so after that, the point you know, B and B1. So point B and B1 is visible. To join by using visible line so next is if you're looking from front of an object now top front of an object the point B is a invisible means this point is a invisible point so line joining between the visible and invisible point it produces a again invisible line so B2 C B2 A next B2 B1 is invisible line okay so next use a center line joining line joining between the axis okay so this completes the you know this completes the first without locus problems of projection of solids this is a square prism and it's a corner portion after that you need to type here all dimensions are in mm okay so thank you.